Hey everyone, welcome. So this reading is your June forecast reading for uh, 2021. Now, however, all of my readings are timeless, so don't worry about uh, the date. This message is meant to find you when it's meant to find you. So as you can see, I have three piles. I decided to use my magical mermaids and dolphins today. I haven't used this deck in forever, so I thought I'd give it some love. So we have this Rose Quartz Cluster here for Pile 1. Pile 2 is uh, this pretty um, turquoise colored stone. And, did, sorry, did I say 3? <laughs> I meant 2, Pile, Group 2. Group 3 has the Selenite stick. So just take a moment to pause this and um, choose either which crystal you're drawn to or uh, maybe you have a special master number like one, two, three you're drawn to or even one of the time stamps in the description box. Your message may be in that group. Okay, so just... Go ahead and choose, meditate on it, and I will see you in your group. Hello, welcome group number one. So if you chose this pretty rose quartz piece, it's not as pink as it is um, off camera or on camera. It uh, looks pretty dull on camera, but off camera it's very pretty. So I'm just going to put it right here by our little butterfly and let's see what is coming up for June for you guys. So we have Healing Heart and it says, you're a powerful healer, keep up the great work. Okay, so for some of you this month, you may be working towards, um, if you have a business in some sort of healing art that you are trying to get off the ground, I see you guys working on that this month. Uh, possibly even creating or starting a new healing business or taking up some healing practice like Reiki, angelic therapy, starting a meditation group as well, or maybe you're even thinking of picking up some sort of spiritual class or um, joining a spiritual community. Those are some possibilities for you guys. I also see some of you may be trying to connect with more people, like-minded individuals like yourself, if you're interested in healing and starting up some sort of um, meetup group to talk about your experiences on your journeys. So let's see what the tarot has to tell you for this month. And I am using Mystic Monday's tarot. Okay, so let's get in. I'm just gonna pull my tarot and then we'll go. So we have Nine of Swords. Five of Pentacles, Two of Swords in Reverse, Three of Wands. Just gonna move these over. And one more. Four of Cups. Okay. So I see this group having some anxieties um, when it comes to making a decision. I see that with the Four of Cups here, it's almost like you're not seeing something that's presented to you. Um, the Four of Cups talks about a missed opportunity. It could also talk about being bored. So 
I see it as, I, but when we look here, this uh, woman, she's meditating. So I kind of, I see this with the cup above her here as some sort of manifestation, like she's manifesting this fourth cup. And she, she doesn't see that it's right there. But, you know, I, I kind of feel like she has hope, even though this card can sometimes talk about boredom and being dissatisfied and um, the like seeing a missed opportunity. In traditional tarot, you see the person sitting up against a tree and they have their arms crossed and they look just <laughs> not very pleased with the three cups that are in front of them. I see her as more of a... You know, she's, she might be, yeah, these might not be the cups she wants. Maybe she's really focusing on that, uh, that dream cup. And I see her as manifesting this. So it could be whatever you have going on in your life or what you have recently had going on in your, in your life. Um, I see it as, it may not have been very fulfilling, However, I see it as uh, stepping stones to get to where you want to be, that fourth cup. So you're, you're kind of using what you have here with these three cups. And even though it's not um, the dream goal, I see you as having faith that that fourth cup is on its way. However, I also see a bit of um, the anxiety again here. So <laughs> it's like back and forth. Like you're, you're back and forth with your trying to manifest some sort of um, healing. And I'm, I'm getting, it's either a career, a passion, or some sort of... Uh, community you are working towards there's like some sort of project or career that you're trying to spark up here and it's there's this back and forth energy between yes you know i'm having faith i'm i'm meditating i i have faith that 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 cup my last cup to move forward is coming but yet there's some anxieties coming up this month as well and there may be a need to make a decision again with that that cup being presented to you it's like there's there's another offer coming and you might have it might be like I see it as something completely unexpected something that's going to help you move forward and yet all of a sudden this anxiety and uh, the five five of pentacles here which is like feeling abandoned or shut out in the cold. Um, I also see it as like feeling really low. Um, it's almost like what you see on the outside is um, it's like you, you see a loss. It could be with your finances. Maybe you're, you're experiencing some sort of uh, financial issues this month or it appears that way and this is causing some anxiety because you're trying to get this project on the go and when this cup comes in it's like all of a sudden there's also this anxiety coming up and uh uncertain uncertainty when it comes to making this decision it's like you, all of a sudden you feel stuck. However, we do have the Three of Wands, which is a very positive card with this. So I do see um, there is a there is a bright side here. And yes, sometimes the Three of Wands can talk about waiting, but it's also about persistence. So it's like if this is something you really desire to... Um, move forward with and I'm really getting like some sort of a either yeah it's like 
for some of you, I am getting like starting some sort of a meetup. And you may be nervous that maybe people are, won't be interested or don't want to join. And if it's like some sort of healing business you're starting to, you're thinking about creating or, you know, like, where am I going to get my clients? I don't know. Um, do people even want to pay for this? Because there's so, there's like talk out there, like a lot of people don't want to pay for spiritual services. They think they're free. Um, so you might be having anxieties about what to charge. Uh, if people are going to want to buy your healing services or what you have to offer. However, I see it as um, keep moving through this anxiety. Yes, the, there will be some struggles when it comes to this um, idea this month. However, that fourth cup, I see it as your golden ticket, something that is necessary to help you move forward. It's going to help you move forward. And like we have here, she doesn't see it coming. And it's surrounded by this beautiful divine light. So I see it as, you know, that you're blessing something you don't see coming. It's a blessing and it's going to help you figure this out. I also see it as if you are having some anxiety and you're having trouble choosing, go within, meditate, feel in with um, what you need to do. Ask yourself, you know, which should I, should I take this cup? Should I take this offer? Is this going to help me move forward? I do personally, I see it as it's helping you move forward with these two. Um, this below this cup here. So I'm just going to pull a couple extra tarot. But this reading so far feels complete to me, so... Let's, let's get a couple more cards. More information. Okay, we have Princess of Wands, which is the Page of Wands, which is about sparking new creative ideas. And the King of Cups in reverse. Let's get one more. The sun in reverse. Okay, so what I see here, I see this as your situation that sparked this whole idea or this this decision that you have um okay or sorry this project like some sort of inspiration you got i i feel <laughs> some sort of inspiration here so <laughs> there was a situation here possibly in your past it could be recent or it could just be something you have dealt with years ago um i see there was a toxic connection could have been a relationship, but it doesn't have to be. Uh, the King of Cups in reverse. Sometimes it, he's uh, he's somebody that is uh, toxic, emotionally unstable. Could be emotionally abusive. I would just say just toxic in general. Just somebody that's not uh, very healthy. Now, again, it could be. This could be a romantic partner. It could just be some old friend. It uh, could even be a boss. Maybe you had a a boss that in a, your current workplace or a previous job that you've had, career, who just uh, maybe was a bit of a narcissist. <laughs> um, 
and this was just an extremely unfulfilling um, path that you were on or situation you found yourself in with the sun here in reverse. The sun in reverse can talk about like uh, feeling cloudy or even depressed. So if it was a workplace, I I'm getting two scenarios here. I'm getting some sort of a person at a your job that was just really toxic, very bossy, maybe didn't, lacked in compassion i do see that as well and again i'm just getting narcissist um and this is what uh just being in this environment in general caused anxiety it financially wasn't fulfilling either and you just felt like day after day just like drained and like you weren't going anywhere and all of a sudden you got this interest in some sort of healing I see healing opportunity some of you might just be healing from this toxic pattern but I, I do see um, a career shift for this group so either if you're not in the looking to get in some sort of healing service or whatever it is i do see you still moving into a different direction either in your career or you're switching careers uh it could be you're starting your own business and you're getting away from this uh this heavy energy energy now for some of you i am getting you are thinking of starting a healing business or some sort of coaching business maybe you're a therapist or psychologist and you're in that sort of a healing business <laughs> I feel like I'm saying business a lot here <laughs> but you you help with your you're some sort of healer and it's possible you have recently got out of some sort of narcissistic abusive connection or relationship and this sparks your creative side and you have a passion to help others in the same situation and you want to start your own business or help others heal their hearts with the healing heart here but you still have some anxieties when moving forward however again that cup you may not see it coming this month, but I do see it. It It's on its way. So, this is all I have for you, group number one. I did have a few messages in there for some of you. I feel like um, this group is, there's a lot of you here choosing this group. So, I hope it was helpful. And I wish you guys all the best in June. If it didn't resonate, you can always choose one of the other groups. Thank you so much and take care. Bye-bye. Hello, welcome group number two. So let me just, I don't like that light. <laughs> Change my lighting a bit. Okay, so if you chose this pretty little aquamarine taupe, um, turquoisey color here. Sorry, it's not focusing. Okay, uh, this is your reading. So let's see what the mermaids and dolphins are bringing up for June. Watch your thoughts. It's important to think, to only think about what you desire, not what you fear. Okay. So you may have some anxieties and fears coming up this month. Now to me, I somewhat agree with this not entirely if you are having some fears and anxieties coming up this month it is very important to honor them don't just say don't just ignore them and shut them out because if you are having fears 
and anxiety about something. There is a message there for you that something needs to be healed or wants to come up to be released. So, yes and no for this card with uh, focusing on what you desire. However, watch your thoughts. I also see this as a uh, watch your thoughts with how what how you <laughs> I can't talk <laughs> your thoughts about yourself and how you speak to yourself. Are you constantly putting yourself down? And are you thinking negative thoughts about yourself? Have you recently made a choice and this month or going to make a choice, needing to make a choice, and suddenly you're thinking negatively about yourself? Like if you are trying to move in a different direction, are you saying, oh, that's not for you, you're not good enough? Um, I see this card speaking about that. Watch how you talk to yourself. So also, if you are working with the law of attraction, it is important to really let yourself know that, yes, you deserve what it is you desire. You are worthy and you are deserving of your dreams and your goals. Your perfect partner, your perfect relationship, your perfect job. The perfect life. It's not just for other people, it's for you as well. Okay, so let's get into the tarot and see what we have here. Five of Cups. Two of Cups. Okay. Interesting. Uh, Knight of Swords in reverse. King of Wands. And one more. This one wants to come up. Five of Wands. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So this is interesting. Um, when I had mentioned when I was shuffling about the possibility of, you know, your perfect partnership, I do see that with the Two of Cups here. This is about uh, coming together as some sort of uh, partnership and relationship. Now, for some of you, it may be a romantic connection. We do have that King of Wands, and to me, the King of Wands is just like he is passionate. He's... Uh, sure of himself. He's a natural leader. He's just, uh, he's, <laughs> he's great. He's, um, he's sure of himself, but not in a, not in a, um, narcissistic way. I don't know why this keeps coming up from June. Um, group number one had, uh, some sort of narcissistic toxic energy as well but he's yeah he's um confident in a healthy way <laughs> we'll say so this could be you because we have we have some mixed energies here where there's some sort of conflict and there's also like with the five of cups here like an energy of crying over spilled milk so but the Two of Cups is a very beautiful card as well, and so is this King of Wands. So, what I am seeing here for you guys, I will pull more tarot for this group, but it's either, so we have the Knight of Swords here, He's he can be very reckless and impatient. I'm getting a partnership of some kind with this group, for sure. So I don't know if you're... 
maybe things didn't go your way in some sort of uh, connection or partnership. Now, again, even though I am getting romantic, it doesn't have to be. It could just be a friendship or even a co-worker. Some sort of connection or partnership might not necessarily be going your way this month. And there could be some conflict that needs to be resolved here with the Five of Wands. You may even feel defeated at times and kind of with that Five of Cups feeling maybe sorry for yourself, which is why we're getting this Watch Your Thoughts come up. However, so I do see the possibility, the, the option to work this out. So it could be you're having a challenge with somebody this month and there is a a chance to work it out and reconcile with this person you don't have to stay in this energy these two fives and yes the the number five does represent change changes as well so i see it as an opportunity to change this so maybe in the past month or so you've been having some conflict and some issues and not emotionally fulfilled with uh, this partnership or connection, I do, see, I do see an option to resolve that in June. Now, if this is not a romantic connection, it could be, I'm not necessarily getting a breakup with this group. I'm seeing this as a current connection. However, if you've recently got out of something and you're kind of stuck in a past um, relationship or partnership. I do see some of you possibly bringing that energy with you while trying to move on into a new connection with this King of Wands. You want to manifest your King of Wands, but there's still that feeling here with the Five of Cups of not feeling good enough, and you're also... <laughs> possibly getting impatient as well. That is a message for some of you that I'm getting. Okay. So yes, I am getting some heavy energy, but I'm also, you have this card here saying, hey, pay attention to your thoughts. Pay attention to how you're feeling. You can resolve this. So let's get some more tarot on this group. See if we can get more information. Also, again, if you're if you're feeling like you're not worthy of this King of Wands, I see that as simply not true. Again, if this is something you desire, a, a, you desire a nice partnership with the Two of Cups, some sort of commitment. I do see it available to you. Okay, we have the Fool. So this is about a new beginning, a new adventure. I also see it as uh, restored and fresh new energy as well. So you can move past those conflicts and uh, that heavy energy, feeling sorry for yourself, whatever it is, and start fresh. There is a chance to renew this connection with the Fool here. Start over. I do see some of you possibly having, or uh, if you don't have somebody reaching out to you this month to say, hey, you know what, I'd like to start over. Can we start fresh? It's possible that you are making that move forward. That could also be why you're getting kind of impatient here. Maybe you're waiting for your person to say, hey, I'm sorry, can we can we start over? Okay, we have the Knight of Cups. Yes, the Knight of Cups is about, it can be a romantic offering. It could also just be like an emotional offering as well. Like that apology and death. Okay, yeah. It's time to transform this. Don't stay stuck in this energy. 
Yeah, okay, I'm getting some sort of a rekindling of a connection, friendship, romantic, whatever it is, but I see it as somebody here wants to start over, wants to start new. So I don't know which one of you is going to make the move. This could be if you're thinking of uh, extending some sort of offer to somebody. If you are, have been having that uh, urge lately, this might be uh, a sign for you to make that offer or apology or just reach out to this person here say hey I don't like the way we left things can we start over or maybe you're just going to release this and not have any expectations you're gonna get out of that impatient energy and when they are ready to come in and make their offer they will but I do see some sort of a new beginning of fresh energy with some sort of partnership or connection for you guys this month so it did start out heavy at first, but you know what? I'm glad I pulled these clarifiers or these additional cards here because it, it is a nice message in the end. So this is all I have for you, group number two. I hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't, if it didn't resonate, you can always choose one of the other groups. Okay? Thank you so much. Take care. I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Hello, welcome group number three. So if you chose the selenite wand or stick, this is your reading. So let's see what the um, <laughs> mermaids and dolphins are saying is coming up this month. So set your sights higher. Increase your standards and expect more for yourself. Don't settle. Okay. So if you have been uh, settling... In the recent past, this is letting you know, hey, you deserve more. Don't settle. Don't settle for anything less than what you deserve, which is greatness. Increase your standards. Maybe in the past you've uh, allowed certain connections or people or energies in. This is saying, you know what? No, raise your vibration this month. I see you guys as uh, not... Not allowing any sort of crap in your life this month. I, I, I'm hearing, been there, done that. I'm ready to move forward. Okay, so let's see. So we have the lovers. Ooh, nice. Ace of cups in reverse. Nine of cups. The Hierophant in reverse. Let's get one more. Oh, oh. Okay. I had two. One fallout. Um, so, three of wands. And the nine of swords in reverse. Popped out. So, with the nine of swords popping out, I do see that as some sort of a coming out of anxiety. That is what I'm getting for that card. Okay. So let me just take a moment to pause and feel in to this reading. Okay. So I see you guys recently coming out of some sort of, uh, I want to say relationship here, but we have the lovers coming up and I have all these cups, which is emotions and the hierophant sometimes talks about commitments and uh, traditions it could be a marriage so it's possible some of you recently came out of a marriage or some sort of committed relationship could have just been some sort of relationship you felt like you were stuck in forever um i see it as whatever it was it wasn't fulfilling and you guys with the nine of cups here either have worked on yourself recently or are choosing to leave 
a connection that is very unfulfilling and um, it could have been if there wasn't a marriage there wasn't any sort of commitment here it could have just been like some sort of friends with benefits energy or just no commitment they could have been in and out of your life but I see it as you know what you're set yourself higher set your uh, sights higher you deserve more uh, you deserve that nine of cups and I see you working towards that if this is something you haven't already been doing but I see you guys as you know you're you're not gonna put up with that <laughs> booty call yeah <laughs> that's what I'm getting like no you're not gonna be the booty call anymore you're you're gonna be telling whoever you know what no unless you're bringing something of value to this uh, get lost and I do see with the three of wands here sometimes it could be about waiting and persistence I see it as um, you possibly willing to wait until there's a stable offer and you're willing you're willing to just uh you know be alone work on yourself be your own lover here and we are in this uh so this is gemini uh, we are in gemini season so some of you may be gemini here with the lovers you know, with the lovers and Gemini's twins, right? So maybe you're your own perfect romantic love until the right person comes along. But I see you guys as saying no to something that's not a solid offer. You're not going to put up with um, somebody coming in and be like, oh, well, I can give you this much, but I'm not willing to give any more yet you might want something stable and solid with some sort of solid foundation here I'm getting miss independent in my head <laughs> or independent woman by uh uh destiny's child <laughs> okay so i'm just gonna pull some tarot i don't really feel like uh we need tarot. This seems straight to the point, but you know what? I'm just going to feel like you guys can get more here. I also see with that Nine of Cups and the Ace of Cups here in reverse, um, you guys wanting to stay single for now. So that may resonate for some. Like maybe you're just wanting to stay in that single energy. You don't need anybody else. Okay, so we have Temperance in reverse. Five of Wands. And let's get one more. Two of Cups. We have another uh, relationship card here. So... Okay. Yeah, there was some conflict in this connection. I'm getting somebody didn't want to commit. And there's some sort of uh, imbalance of energy. There was not enough. There wasn't an equal give and take here. Uh, I don't know. I see it as maybe more so you guys wanted something stable and committed healthy you wanted an equal give and take an equal relationship and there was just a lot of conflict here and this connection was was out of balance because your person wasn't ready or didn't want to commit maybe they just wanted to have their cake and eat it too type situation here but i see you guys just saying you know what no you're gonna walk away you're going to Say, I don't need you to restore my balance. I can do it myself. And, um, <laughs> see, yes, it's saying, I don't want no scrub. 
Oh, apparently I'm getting a lot of uh, <laughs> late, late 90s and early 2000 songs in my head. <laughs> but, <laughs> sorry, now I have the giggles. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's what I heard. I don't want no scrub. <laughs> okay, so uh, this is beautiful group number three. You guys are really stepping into your power and ready to just uh, throw away that person that uh, is just wanting to take from you and doesn't want to offer anything. So I hope this was helpful. I, I enjoyed this pile. I see you guys is not, not ready to take, not wanting to take any crap this month. <laughs> so that's great. Uh, if this didn't resonate, you can always choose one of the other piles. And I wish you guys all the best for June, and I will see you guys next month. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye-bye.